Hello, today I want to show you how you can contribute to the Coda Dojo platform. When you open the Coda Dojo website, send.codadojo.com, you see this site, and above here you can choose your language. For example, I'm German, so I'll choose the German language, and the objective is now of this video to find errors, or if you find errors, translate them or fix them. So, because some texts might be in English still, so for example if I go down here, the Coda Dojo Foundation is still English, it's not in German, this might be a mistake I want to fix on the website, or down here there's a space behind the before the comma and this is also a mistake. So, if I want to fix this website, um, this can be done by me, it doesn't have to be done by other people. I can click down here on Crowdin, so in English it would be you can correct mistakes in the text with, by using Crowdin, and now I'll click this. Now the website opens. Crowdin is the platform where you can host translations for projects and various people, so to say the crowd, can contribute. And I'm part of the crowd for Coda Dojo. And now I can can look for this lang for for my language, which is German. It's ninety percent translated. And now you see all the files that can be translated. I zoom out. So what you can see here is like the file structure for the translated stuff the different files. Here you see the progress of the translation. Uh, this is not translated. This is translated and it is confirmed. So there are other colors which you cannot find in German now, but for example in Ukrainian it would be all blue. And the colors have, the, have those meanings. So if there's nothing, it's not translated. If it is blue, it is translated, but a proofreader has still to approve the translations. And if it's green, then it is also proof read by other people. So, now about the files. Here you have got a lot of files. They are all small text snippets that get sent out via email. For example, if, uh, if I click on this text, yeah, I first need to log in, but uh, if I click on this text, so then I can log in via Google, for example. Let's see. It's loading. Accept. This is the text of an email. For example, hi, blah, 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 blah. So, and now I can click on the different things and translate them. For example, but I'm now interested still in this mistake down here. There's a space where I want to find the Coda Dojo Foundation, and this is not in those files, in those small files. Okay, activity, projects, projects. Oh, so nothing. Okay, so back to crowding. to German. So, okay. Again, I said there are a lot of small files down here. They are for emails that get sent to other people, and those are still translated texts. But there's one very important file, which is called messages.po. It is the file for the whole platform online that you can view as a website. So when I click on this file, I get a lot, of, a lot of text. And now I can can look specifically for for the mistake on this website. There was Vorschlagen. So I can look for Mhm. Mm no, I don't find it. Let's see. Um zu verbessern. Verbessern is also something. 
TFSM. Yeah, there it is to help make it better. So let's see if this mistake is also on the English side features vorschlagen. Just features. There's no space, there's also no space, so the mistake should also be on the English side. I think. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so there is a space added by the English version. <laughs> Which doesn't work in German because there is a comma missing, so the Coda Dojo Foundation is something that is not translated. We can have a look at this. The Coda Dojo Foundation. This is also not here. So, this is now a place where I, I can show you now that you can translate something, so you can type in text here, you can change the text, if you see something is written wrongly, uh, then you can change it, you can save it, and the suggestion pops up down here. So, and then proofreaders can proofread it. In our case, now, we have found mistakes, for example, this is not translated, and here we've got a space that is not translated, so it, it yields an error in, in the German language. And in this case, um, yeah, we can, for example, in German we can can remove. I'll switch to German. We can remove the comma there, and it would be still correct. So whoop, here, um, it's too verbessern. So. To help make it better, there it is. So we remove this, we save this suggestion, and now we have it down here. After a while, the proofreader will come along and say, Well, yeah, that's better, I understand. And then it will be confirmed and will have this sign and pop up on the website too. Now, with another kind of mistake, this is a mistake, something was forgotten to be translated. The Coda Dojo Foundation is not translated. What we do now is click on Contribute Code. Let's go to the English version. Uh-huh. Or maybe there's another link. Or suggest features. Oh, yeah. yeah, these are the. This is uh, the place where where the issues are collected for the platform, and this is on GitHub. It's a free hosting provider for source code. And now we can we can search for the Coder Dojo Foundation. And delete all this to see if if this was already uh, an issue somewhere. So add ninjas no booking event no time zones. Nope, 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 nope. The red ones are, are already closed. So, to page 2, and this is not resolved. Invalid invitation split batch kit. Count inactivity. No! This is, this is a mistake. And what we can do now is we can report an issue. So, we can log in to GitHub and we rec can report an issue. For example, using this button. 
open the issue. Okay, I log in. The issue would be um, oh, there's already such an issue, which is translations forgotten. Translation. Look, translation errors. So, yeah, I've edited. Yeah, I've already edited a lot of mistakes that I've forgotten to as a translation. Now we can comment down here um, the, with, a, with a nice text that describes the problem. Um, of course, it's translation. The text. Kodo Dojo Foundation, where to find it? In the footer of every site. E. G. For example, on the main page. On the main page so here is a link this is markdown so I can make a link out of it link so then we can make a photo of it here I, I use the snipping tool so this is a snipping tool new Yeah, it should be, should be the German side, for example, to see that it was forgotten. So, so there are two two kinds of mistakes, of course. One is we forgot to translate it. Somebody forgot and put just put the string in. And the other one is it is in crowd in, so it is not forgotten, but somebody translated it wrongly or just no, nobody translated it yet. So. For this, we checked. Nobody, it it is not in crowd in, so we we shouldn't. Yeah, we should make an issue that um, it's called snip. So we should make an issue. So blah, 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 so here we can circle it. Save it. can preview this is something that I added now and I can comment I, I can still try it. yeah okay comment so now they are notified that another translation was forgotten and it can be taken into the list of different translations that were forgotten so with this uh, the video ends. There are several ways to contribute to the CodaDojo platform. You can either, I showed you how to um, translate things using Crowdin. Once you're logged in, you can translate it to your language and suggest translations. Proofreaders can then come and accept these translations. If you are the first person in this language, it might be worth to communi communicate with the Coda Dojo team, say, I have things that I translated, and maybe they will reward you with a Coda Do yeah, with, a, with a proofreader ability, because I got it, because I translated a lot of stuff, so I became a proofreader, and then you can translate what you want, and you can just, whenever there's something translated, you can uh, submitted so it is on 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 the website as soon as possible 
this is the one thing, suggest translation, and the other thing is, if you cannot find the thing you want to translate, or you, you find a bug in the platform, then you can click on suggest features, and open an issue, and write down what you experienced. Also, you can comment on other issues, for example, there are issues open for questions, and in these issues you can just tell the people what you think. For example here, request for comments, and here request for comments, they can, they are really invited to write down everything that you think, but on the other issues you can also comment. So, it's a very open platform, the Coda Dojo platform. You can contribute, and this video should have shown this.